Jobs. Hey, Richard Miller here again. I'm gonna. This is <laughs> gonna be a real short one, I hope. Um, I'm with Facts for Working People, the blog. We know what's up. Blogspot.com. That's the URL. No apostrophe. It's called Facts for Working People. There's some history there why it's called that, but anyway, that's what it's called. But the reason what I wanted to comment on here <coughs> about is I, I made a. Um, uh, I wrote a, a piece. The other day, or was it? It might have been this morning, I think, uh, um, about the the uh, the um, the Amazon union, and also actually, I wrote a couple of pieces about the change in the change of leadership in the Teamsters union. <clears throat> but somebody sent me a comment uh, uh, that um, uh, because I I was warning the um, I, I had a difference with some people over the the elation they have over the change in leadership. Um, of the uh, Teamsters, uh, one, uh, I think it was TDU calling it a militant leadership. I mean, there's nothing to indicate that it's a militant leadership. And um, on the one this morning, somebody said something about, because I, 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 I quoted Sarah Nelson, and the, uh, the person sent me a little note and said, well, you know, she's different, at least she's speaking out and she's fighting and this and the other. And the, the, the problem is, she, what, what is different about her? Now, if you're a young person or a new person to the to, to the trade union movement or into the struggle in the trade union movement, she, she, she said during the shutdown, I think it was, raise the, the issue of a general strike. I don't see anything that, that um, indicates that she's any different than the pres present uh, class collaborationist, uh, um, uh, uh, pro-management and pro-market, uh, basically pro-capitalist, leadership of the trade unions, which leads them to uh, bail out capitalism whenever it goes into crisis. And so uh, the person brought up the general strike comment. Well, 30, 35 years ago, Walter Johnson, of the, he used to lead, uh, I think it was Local 99 or 1100 here in San Francisco. He became the head, in, head of the Central Labor Council, and he used to talk about, uh, about a general strike. Didn't do anything about it, didn't use his position uh, as a, as a, f a fairly influential labor leader uh, 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 in the labor movement to fight or campaign for it. Sarah Nelson mentioned it, so a lot of people mention it. I don't, she never, firstly a general strike has to be built, it has to be uh, organized, there has to be a massive, uh, from the, uh, the trade union movement, a massive uh, um, going around the country, building for it, setting a date for it, picking a time for it, how long will it last, and the, what, what you want it for, everything. Just because somebody says that, it's meaningless. And um, so, and the other thing you have to look at, at this, is this, is what do I look at? It's not a personal thing to me. The, the leadership of the trade unions, tra trade union movement, I'm not like some people in some left groups that think they're completely worthless, they'll never do anything, there's pointless trying to change them. I don't agree with that. You've got to fight against their policies, you've got to campaign against them, you've got to try and build from the ground up a, 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 a movement that will, uh, uh, in, with, the, with the intention of replacing them around different platform, different tactics that they presently use now. And... Um, and you, so you have to build, build for that. And in the process of building for that, then some of them will shift. Some of them will move to the left. There'll be splits there. This may occur in relation to the Amazon Workers Union. We'll see what happens. But to say, well, Sarah Nelson's different, and this Labour leader that utters a word or two here of something or other, well, I remember going to a Labour Notes conference during the time when Tony Mazzocchi was uh, going around the country uh, calling for a Labour Party. His slogan was, they have two parties, the bosses have two parties, we only have, we don't have any. And he was an official from OCOR, the Oil Chemical and Atomic Workers Union. He was an important person. That was a little bit different. He was going around uh, trying to mobilise for that. Now, I didn't have any illusions in him because I didn't believe, and I don't believe, an independent working class party will be built that way. Or an independent Labour Party would be built that way. But that didn't matter, that, but he was somewhat different. But so the thing is, if I look at uh, uh, Sarah Nelson or anybody that's talking about major changes, whether it's O'Brien in the Teamsters, I have to look at, is, is there a movement out of which this person is coming? Uh, 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 is there a revolutionary, not a revolutionary, because people think I'm talking about the overthrow of capitalism. Is, is there a movement to change the direction of organized labor, of the trade union movement in this country, from one of passive 
agreement and conciliation with the employers? Is there a movement from below that's beginning to push them? And is that why Sarah Nelson or anybody else is saying what they're saying? Then I will say there, that, that there's a potential for some difference and some changes. The first thing any leader in the organized labor has to say to me, or any of us in, within organized labor, and for the, those of us that are outside, which is most workers, is to reject the team concept. The team concept is the most destructive philosophy that the union leadership abides by. The idea that workers and employers have the same economic interests and, uh, and, and they're on the same team. This is a disaster. It's the philosophy behind the concessions, really. It's not just corruption and they're bad people and all of that. That all exists in society, so it exists there. But the thing in the union movement. But the thing is, is, is that the f you have to come out against that immediately. Oh, that's one big difference. Any labour leader that says we have to abandon this and campaigns against it within the labour movement and campaigns for workers' uh, power that we, we can only win uh, 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 through uni uni unifying the organised workers, different separate unions where they cross each other picket lines. I was down here on a picket line uh, of the waste management, some of the lowest paid workers, and the Teamsters business agents were down there encouraging the, the, the truck drivers who were Teamster members who didn't like it to cross because the two leaderships of the RW Local 6 and Team Mr. Local 70 were having a pissing contest against each other. So that's why I don't see Sarah Nelson as anything special. We've seen it all before. Look up Amy Dean. See, she was, she was the saviour at one point. So was bloody the guy that... Uh, um, uh, 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 SEIU, that led SEIU, went on to become a... Uh, Andy Stern. There, there's tons of them. It's all happened before. What's behind them? Is a movement developing? Are they a product of that movement being pushed to the left and so forth? And what are they saying that is really different? That's the question. And the team concept should be one of them. A major one. You can't all build solidarity across work, working class lines, gender, race, everything else, immigrants. You can't build solidarity when you're on the same team as the boss trying to help this, your boss compete with another boss. Okay? You can't you, and drive them from the market. You can't win that way. So I'm, I'm going to stop because I said I'd keep it short and I, 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 here I go. But anyway, that's, that's my answer to the person that sent me the email. This is Richard Miller, Facts for Working People. The uh, AWL, the, the developments at uh, Starbucks, they're very, very important. They're very positive. They're also in dangerous turf now, though. There's a, 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 lot, of, there's a lot against them. That 